This short video will introduce one of the datasets we host, the IMF International Financial Statistics. The International Financial Statistics is the IMF's principal statistical publication and is the standard source for international and domestic finance. It's a reference publication, so for example the exchange rates found in the International Financial Statistics are used as a basis for conversion by other data providers like the World Bank or United Nations. The data covers a range of topics including balance of payments, exchange rates, fund position, government finance, interest rates, international liquidity, national accounts, prices, production and trade. The data covers most countries and goes as far back as 1948. It's available at the annual, quarterly and monthly level and we update it every single month so the data is always up to date. There are three sections, the country tables, world tables and commodity prices. Data in the country tables is fairly raw and unprocessed. For example, it might be in local currencies. It's not designed to make cross-national comparisons. It's designed for countries to measure their own progress against time. For example, here you can see the amount of net claims on the euro system for Greece, which shows the falling confidence in the Greek banking system as the central banks have to step in to back Greek loans. More comparable data can be found in the World Tables section. Here you can see some quarterly bond yield data for a number of Eurozone countries. The orange line represents the rising cost of Greek borrowing. The Commodities Prices section gives the world prices and indices for around 100 commodities. Uh, the prices are in US dollars and the indices are relative to a base year. For example, here is the price of tin plotted as an index with a base year of 2005. Notice how it shoots up in the commodities boom of recent years. The International Financial Statistics is a complicated database. If you need help, you should take a look at the documentation sections on our website. This includes a user guide and links to other useful information. Staff and students from UK Further and Higher Education can access the data through our interface for free. People outside this community should go directly to the IMF website. Thank you for watching this video. Here are some links you may find useful.